Hey guys, it's Jordan. So I have a drugstore first impressions for you guys, which I'm so buzzing for. I know you guys really appreciate when I do drugstore makeup. And I mean, I'm a huge drugstore fan, like for sure. So yeah, everything on my face right now is actually drugstore makeup, bar actually the eyebrows, but I'll explain that in the video. And a lot of it as well is like brand new, which is like super exciting. You should definitely keep watching though, because there were some flops in this video. I did a little poll thing on Twitter, like I do them now. Because I'm just like such a pro YouTuber now, like. But yeah, I asked if you wanted something more natural or whether you basically wanted to like go full glam, see what the drugstore's made of kind of thing. And you guys were like full glam. See, I come up with this like makeup look here, like a khaki green eye, nude lip, that sort of vibe. So if you do wanna know how I did this and all the products that I used and my thoughts on like a bunch of new products, that was a mouthful. You guys are the chill, just keep watching. Why do I literally look like I'm about to go running or something? <laughs> Fitness. Literally irrelevant, let's just like dive in. Starting off with a little bit of primer, but this isn't just any old primer. This is basically a face mask primer sort of situation, which I love me a face mask. So I'm so excited to use this. So this is by a brand called BioBell and I think you can get it on Beauty Ben. It's like four pounds or something. With tea tree oil, rose hip extract and vitamin C, enhances radiance, minimizes pores and evens skin tone. Hashtag primer. <laughs> which to be completely honest with you, I could do with, I could do with. So it says it preps the skin for flawless makeup application. So, I mean, let's give this a go. Ooh, this smells kind of good. Oh my God, it is so slimy. Oh, these always just look so weird. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so cold. Oh my god, it feels so good though already. I'm like, yes! You better prime my skin, Hans. You better prime my skin. I didn't even read what I meant to do, but I mean, it's a face mask, right? Like, pretty self explan Leave the mask for five minutes, peel off and rinse. Then apply your makeup. Okay, so I think that basically I'm just gonna like chill here for five minutes and I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. Okay, so it's been about five minutes now, I think. I mean, I'm kind of like bored of waiting, to be honest. I'm just gonna like peel it off. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, my skin does feel really, really fresh. I feel like I need to look close up. Do you know what? I'm actually kind of impressed. It's left my skin with like a really nice glow, which you know I'm all about. But like looking close up, it just looks so like smooth. I can still see pores, like let's be real, I don't think it was gonna get rid of my pores. It does look hella, hella smooth and just like healthy. Okay. So the way it looks on my skin right now, I do really like it's nothing revolutionary, I'm gonna be honest, but I do really like it. And I like the idea of having a mask cause you can uh, just like sit back and chill. I'm now gonna move on to my brows. I've used this once before, so it kind of says a first impressions, kinda. Cheating just like a little bit, but like, it's so fine. So the brand is Iconic London. And the reason why I wanted to use this in this video is I wanted to try a bunch of new makeup, but I didn't really see anything from the drugs or anything that really like caught my eyeballs. So I didn't really know what to do. And then Iconic London got in contact with me. I'm like, hey, Jorts, like, we got a new eyebrow product. Do you want to try it? Of course I was down because I'm always down for trying new eyebrow products. So this is actually an eyebrow cushion. And when I heard of this, I was like, come again. Eyebrow cushion. What? You just have, come back. Oh. Oh I'm just a hot mess. It does come with a little brush and a spoolie and then you, this is the story of my life, to be honest. So you get this little eyebrow cushion inside and it has two different colors, which I really like because typically you kind of want the end of your eyebrow to be darker and the front to be lighter. You can do that with this. So I was like, Gucci. And can I just point out the first time I used this, I like proper dunked my brush in and put it on my eyebrows. And I was like, because I had so much product on there. This is so pigmented. You literally need the smallest amount. Look, I'm barely pressed and look how much product comes out. Like... The brush that it comes with isn't bad at all. Like, as you can see, you can kind of get like really fine strokes with it, which I really, really like. But I mean, me personally, I'm not really about the Diddy brush life. Like it's cute, but so I just use one of my own. And basically, girls and boys, let me just like zoom you guys in. Hi. I mean, oh, by the way, I'm using medium. I just like dip in it really quickly. I'm gonna start like drawing the shape that I'm after. As you can see, I kind of have to like draw the tail of my eyebrow on because it's just really sad and like non-existent. And I have a scar through my eyebrow and I always know a good eyebrow product when it can cover up my scar and this one literally can, as you can see. And then at this point, whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna like do something like this. Like I draw two lines and then I kind of just like fill in between kind of like that. And then as you can see, like the front is way lighter then the end, which is exactly what I want. And then I have an air freshener and it just keeps like, pew. and then do you know one of my favorite things about this eyebrow product? Where it's like a liquid product. Obviously the product's really thin. So it's so easy to create like fake hairs at the front of your eyebrow. I pick up the smallest amount of product and all that I do is basically just like flick like this to create little hairs at the front of my eyebrow. I don't know, I just love this product. I feel like it really has defined my eyebrows but kept it looking kind of natural at the same time. Like, I still feel like it looks like hair. Also, this is probably gonna sound really strange. Like this is just my brain like 
working. <laughs> so you know like eyebrow gels are like a liquid. Well, this is the sort of same consistency, right? And you know eyebrow gels bring back the sort of naturalness to your eyebrow. Like it emphasizes the hairs again. I feel like this is what that does. Like two in one. Feels in your eyebrow, but emphasizes the hairs. Oh, just really quickly want to say it does dry down. It doesn't stay a liquid. Like as you can see, nothing comes off. I'm going to go ahead and do this here. Well, attempt. <laughs> and then you go, we'll be back. I have eyebrows. <laughs> I genuinely like it. I love how my eyebrows look. You can kind of just tell how good it works from just looking up her face. I'm just gonna like zoom you guys. Oh, <laughs> I have a huge super drug bag just like filled with goodies. I know I've already primed, but like this is like a glowy thing. And like, how can I not put it on my face? You know, this is the collection Illuminating Touch Liquid Radiance. Infused with gold illuminating pearl, instantly lifts the complexion, providing a silky, soft, dewy finish. Oh, it's a lot like thicker than I thought it'd be, but. Has a bit of a funky smell. Has that like even done anything or am I just blind? Can you guys see any difference with my skin right now? Because to be completely honest, I don't. My hands are covered in gold reflex, but my face isn't. Like, I'm sure that's not how this is supposed to work. It literally hasn't done anything. Well, that's a flop. However, I do have high hopes for this. Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation 24 hour. When products claim to be 24 hour, I'm like, really girl? Really? But it does say full coverage on it and you know how I feel about full coverage. Anything full coverage? I'm like, <laughs> I got the color 51 caramel beige, which may be a little bit too dark, but we'll work with it. Yes. Also, it's a good day to test it on because <laughs> I'm also really excited because I picked up the Real Techniques Miracle Body Complexion Sponge. And guys, <laughs> look how... <laughs> Look how big this is, like for real though. It is wet as well and look at it. Like this is joy freaking enormous. I feel like I'm gonna be able to cover my face in like 0.2 seconds and I'm happy about that. Pump it, pump it. It's a really nice consistency. Is that weird to say? But like, I just do makeup okay. Like I'm into these things. <laughs> This looks really dark. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Is anybody else like this? You just don't want to use a new sponge? Like, it's so satisfying. Like, I don't want to get this day. Like, <laughs> I still can't get over how big this is. Ooh, okay. That's actually got really nice coverage. I'm using a sponge as well. I feel like a brush. I feel like the coverage with a brush would be in bloody sane. Oh my God, why do I kind of look like I've got a foundation beard right now? I normally like more of a glowy finish and this is more of that sort of satin matte finish, but I act... I just like ate that. I'm actually really enjoying the finish. I'm actually loving the way it looks on my skin right now. I know it's, it is too dark. Like, let's just be real right now. Just drag it down the neck. Like, you know, it's fine. Hey, if you could just like move for a sec, that would be fab. I really like the way this looks on my skin right now, for sure. Time for some concealer now. This really intrigued me because of the applicator. It's like a little sponge on the end. This is the, oh, there is a hair and it's like tickling the heck out of my face right now. Rimmel lasting finish, 25 hour, 25 hour? Okay, um, breathable lightweight medium coverage concealer. My mine's in the color 200 light medium coverage. See, again, when it comes to concealer, I'm like, give me full, like you're, you need to conceal. But this could be really nice because it says it's breathable, so it could look really like nice on the skin. Can you guys see the little sponge applicator when you squick? Oh, okay, yep, sure. The sponge is a little bit awkward, like it's kind of hard. But then saying that, it's not smearing the concealer around or anything. It just feels a little bit like I'm punching myself in the face. I'm just being dramatic, but. You guys know what I mean. Seems to be blending out nicely. Ooh, you know what? I like that. I would definitely agree with medium coverage, so that's cool. And you know what? The whole breathable thing, I get that. It looks super lightweight underneath my eyes. It doesn't really look like I have added anything extra, but it has added a little bit more coverage. I'm feeling it. Feeling myself. <laughs> I need to stop. Someone stop me. Someone help. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to cover up this blemish. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of just like showing again. Could be the foundation though. Like once the foundation's set, you can't touch it sort of thing. Why won't you cover? Oh no, wait, actually, before I powder my skin. Ding. I'm gonna put this on while I haven't set my foundation because it's a liquid highlighter. I've had so many of you guys messaging me asking me to try this out because I love the iconic drops. They're not my favorite thing ever. And you guys said that these may be a dupe, so we will see. This is the Mecca Revolution Liquid Highlighter. This is in liquid champagne. Oh, champagne. Love champagne. <laughs> I just sounded like an alcoholic. Like, I love champagne. Like, I just love alcohol. <laughs> Packaging's really cute. Yes, Makeup Revolution. Straight away, it's definitely a thicker consistency. I don't know if you guys can see, but the sponge isn't actually blending it out. Can you see that? 
That is really, really pretty. I don't think it's as like, like where bam, thank you, man, as the iconic ones. How many like drops has that been in this video? Like 20,000, I don't know. If you're on way more of a budget, I definitely think this is a nice alternative. Do I think it's a dupe? No, but do I think it, you know, it's a good alternative? Yeah. Another Makeup Revolution product. This is the Revolution Bake and Finish Luxury Baking Powder. Oh no. I've just read on the back, it says ghost finish. Ghost finish. Oh, I'm like a little wake up ghost. I'm just gonna like pray that it doesn't even white cast on my face. All right, here goes nothing on my like Mahusa sponge. Dust that off, cause I really... Why am I like white? Oh God, it has stayed white. No, go away. <laughs> Oh my god, I genuinely don't think I can use this on the rest of my face, guys. Right, I feel like I can't cheat though. First impressions, first impressions. Actually, to be fair, putting on a small amount is not that bad. It's when you try to bake with it, but it's meant to be a bake and finish powder. So, that was literally such a close call. I genuinely thought we were done for then. I thought that's it. That's it, Jordan. I feel like it's also kind of clung to places and kind of making me look a little bit patchy. Let's just hope that like a bit of bronzer or something will make this better. I feel like bronzer helps. I actually picked up a face powder for bronzer. I don't know about you guys, but it's so hard to find matte bronzers, like, hanging about. So I just picked up this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless face powder, but in a darker shade. This is in caramel? Yeah, caramel. It looks kind of light on camera, but I feel like it looks like it'd be quite a nice bronzery shade. I don't know, we'll give it a go. Hmm, it's not too bad, you know. It's sort of like a nice warm colour. I'm kind of having to go in and sort of build up on it but then again this isn't a bronzer it's a face powder so like what do i expect you know i mean it's bronzing up my skin it's doing what i wanted it to i mean if you're struggling to find matte bronzers as well check out like a face powder because i think it works <laughs> i've sort of just covered up all of the glow that this makeup revolution highlighter gave me but i genuinely don't like the way that powder has made my face feel it literally feels like my face is the sahara desert i'm gonna have to use some fix plus because honestly <laughs> My face feels so dry. A little bit of blush now. Well, well, blush. <laughs> this is the Milani Baked Blush in Bella Bellini. Now, I have the Luminoso, I think it's called, and I love that. But that literally done nothing. <laughs> that looks so pretty. Like a pinky gold. Woo! I feel like this is going to be so pigmented. <laughs> Whoa, can you see how glowy that is? I actually think this is highlighting my face more than it is blushing my face. Blushing my face? Oh, I actually think I love that blush. Like, if you like glowy cheek products, you are gonna love this. Highlighter, I have this Makeup Revolution Pearl Lights Loose Highlighter. First of all, can we just talk about the size of this pot? Like, this is literally gonna last me a lifetime. They have a bunch of colors as well. I think I might use this one. This is the... True Gold found the name. It was literally right in front of me. Oh my god, I actually get a little bit scared to use loose highlighters. I'm not gonna lie. Like, they legit go everywhere. Just because I feel like it's really easy to go overboard. Wait, is overboard with highlighter even a thing? Okay. Can you guys see how gold that is? That is like gold. Kinda living for it though. Like the smallest amount goes the longest way. I love that color. I don't even think the camera's picking up how gold it is. It is really gold, but when I look forward, it hasn't left like that gold strip. Actually, to be fair, it kind of reminds me of, you know, the Fenty Beauty, um, the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter. It genuinely reminds me of that, but way more wearable, like way more wearable. I think it's um, safe to say that I am glowing. Probably being like really, really picky. And I mean, I've used loads of highlighters. So like, I think that's why I noticed these things. It is more of a drier highlighter. What I mean by that is it does look like powder on the skin. It doesn't look super wet, but I still really, really like it. And look how much product you're getting here. It is so worth it. So let's be real. If you're on the hunt for, you know, an affordable highlighter, check out these. I'm really excited to use this. So for the first time, I've swatched a few shades, but I've not used it on my actual eyeballs yet. I have the Revolution Soph Ultra Eyeshadow palette. It looks so fab, so I'm buzzing to use it on my eyes. So I've just brought you guys in a little bit. Prime my eyelids with a little bit of this same concealer. I mean, I always use concealer anyway, so how the hell am I going to blend out my freaking with this? <laughs> just so you know, I have absolutely no idea, like no idea what I shall look to do, so I'm just gonna like roll with it and hope for the best. I'm gonna take this shade first, like the white shade, just to 
Oh, a little bit of fallout, that's not too bad. Just to set this in place. I don't know why I'm using the smallest brush ever to do this. I genuinely have forgotten to pick up any eye makeup brushes. One sec. Don't you dare come running back. I'm back here. This shade is kind of calling my name. So I'm going to like dab in that. Dab in that. Ooh. That's nice. As always, just ignore this owl corner because I clean it up at the end. I think I said that in like every makeup video. <laughs> Do you know what though? This is actually blending out really nicely. I am going quite a few times just to like build up the pigment, but I don't ever think that's a bad thing because sometimes you don't want to, you know, dip in and then be like, oh crap, effed up my eyes. You know what? I'm going to mix this color and also the red to make like a ready brown. Just popping this right in the crease. I'm actually so impressed. Like this palette is what, like eight, 10 pounds, something like that. Look how many shades you get as well. And the quality is amazing. I mean, I'm probably not doing it like the best justice ever because I'm not the best with eyeshadow or just makeup in general. I'm definitely no Nikki tutorials, that's for sure. God, that girl can blend eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't know why, but this green is screaming my name. So I think I might cut crease my eye and then put the green on. A little bit of concealer. I'm using that same Rimmel concealer. Let's see if it will like cut the crease. Pure concentration right now. Oh god, now I gotta mimic it on this eye. Time for the green. Ooh, there is a teeny bit of fallout, like no biggie, but I'm gonna wet my brush to see if I can like really, you know, get that colour on there. Yes. Like it's so fab dry, but I think any eyeshadow that's this formula, like this sort of finish, works so much better wet. I'm just gonna take some of the black and deepen this outer corner. A little bit of cleaning up. I actually can't get over how affordable this palette is as well. If you're on a budget and you're on the hunt for an affordable but still fab palette, honestly, check this one out. Oh, yeah, I remember this mascara literally looked so cool. So this is the Max Factor Lash Crown Mascara. Why it looks so interesting was the brush. Like, look at this brush. Oh my god, I'm such a beauty YouTuber right now. <laughs> no, but for real though, look at this brush. So it has like a normal mascara wand on one side and then it has this weird, weird like ball thing on it. I don't know. I don't actually know what that's for, to be honest. Can you guys see my lashes right now? That is like super separating and super lengthening. I actually read up about what this little crown bit does. It's meant to basically allow you to define bits of your lashes so Go on the tips of them like this. Do you know what? I actually really like this mascara. I was worried that it might come across a little bit kind of gimmicky, if that makes sense. But it actually isn't. It's nice and thin so I can get right to the base of my lashes and really comb through everything. Even though my lashes do look fab, I am going to apply falsies because... You know I'm about that life. This is legit the best lash glue of life to even exist in the entire universe. Now, not to sound like... Because that's not me at all, but... I don't typically like drugstore lashes. I kind of like my lashes to be really wispy and thick and full, kind of like faux mink style lashes. And the drugstore kind of never seems to like have that until I found these. <laughs> Ilo have stepped up their lash game, man. Like they've stepped it up. These look so fab. As soon as I saw these, I even went to my mum. I was like, mum. And she was like, there you, Jordan, there you. These are the Ilo Lux Filgary. This is how they look. As you can see, they're really wispy and thick looking. So excited to wear these. I think the regular Ilo lashes are like just under six pounds. And these ones, which are like their faux mink effect ones, are just over six pounds. So honestly, the price difference wasn't that much. And I think these ones are so much nicer. Bit of lash glue. I should wait for them to dry. It is definitely safe to say that I am obsessed with these lashes. Like these are drugstore. How? Oh, I haven't applied mascara on my bottom lashes. Let me just um do that real quick. Whoa, look how long that made my bottom eyelashes. Holy moly. Also, I did just put a couple of colors underneath my um lash line and a gold in the inner corner. Still from that Soph palette. I don't actually really like my eyes with lower lash mascara on, but hey -ho. So I don't actually have any new lip products here to share with you guys. So I think I'm just going to go for a classic nude lip. I'll show you my favourite nude lip combo that I've been wearing at the moment. Best part about it as well, all drugstore. So I take the Body Shop Lip Definer, so their lip pencil in. I don't know right now, but I will find it and leave it below. I just line my lips with this. This is such a nice neutral pinky brown nude lip colour. And then I take the L'Oreal Lip Paint in 208 Off-White. I just fill it in. 
The reason why I love this lip combo, I love this lip combo. <laughs> the lip line is slightly darker, which means I can really like define my lips. And then the nude color obviously is super nude, which like, that's my kind of vibe. It's <laughs> so, like the two together means I can have a really nude lip, but still have like defined lips, if that makes sense. I don't know if it necessarily goes with the eye look, but what can you do? And then to finish everything off, I have this setting spray. This is the Kiss Pro Touch Makeup Setting Spray. Long lasting and oil control, that's legit what I need. I knew the brand Kiss for doing like nail stuff, but I didn't know they did makeup until I went to the New York Gem Beauty. They come over to us and they're like, hey, we do makeup now. I was like, okay, okay, I'll see you. I've never even tried this. Let's see how. Ooh. Ooh, that feels good. It's the mist one that's nice. It's not super fine and I feel like I'm getting wet. <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling refreshed. So that is everything for my face done. We're done. Do you know what? There wasn't anything in this video that I hated. The only thing I definitely won't be using again <laughs> is the Makeup Revolution Bake and Finish Powder. Like, it's not for me. It just left that white cast, which I should have read the back. It does say ghost finish though. But it just made my skin feel like so dry. And I was like, mm. oh, and also the collection instant luminate and touch thing. Like that was just a bit of a flop. But apart from that, I honestly liked everything that I tried and I will be using everything again. So that's good. My top favorite things, of course, the iconic brow product is so unique and so good. I love the lashes. I love Soph's eyeshadow palette. I also really, really like the foundation. For a drugstore foundation, that is just good. Hopefully it lasts really well, because if it does, oh girl, I think I found a new drugstore foundation. L'Oreal True Much is still in my heart, but like, come through Maybelline with that coverage. <laughs> Hopefully it lasts well. In fact, in the description box below, I'll leave my thoughts on how well it lasted. So, you know, you guys know that. So check that. So yeah, that is all from me, you guys. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe if you wanna, if you wanna. And I'll hopefully see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.